Okay, folks, how did y'all? Um, just kind of a recap real quick. I was up a curve. We had a blast up there again. Um, didn't kind of, you know, I fished a little tournament, you know, didn't, I weighed some fish, but didn't do like I wanted to do again. But anyway, you see me in the last one, we was catching them fish out of them pockets on that, on, on some crankbaits and, um, I went back up there, I fished some stuff down, and then come went up, went up there, and they were still in there. As a matter of fact, like the two I caught, that's the way I called them, but I waited too long to adjust because the fish had backed out. This is the reason. Let me say, let me tell you what happened. We was fishing, uh, caught two on the crankbait, but I, I noticed that the bites was just so much more sluggish. It's almost like when you hook a limb and you just kind of pull the limb and there's no fight there. They just kind of come in. So it was a very light bite compared to what it was the day before. The sun did come out, but it come out later. What happened was I was in this one pocket and there's, there's another gentleman there, older guy too. Um, and he was just slowly pulling a daggone worm. And I watched him catch three right in front of me. So... Anyway, make a long story short, I tried to adjust my co-angler, uh, went to a small shaky head, caught two behind me, um, and my shaky head, I, I used a bigger worm. I don't know why I didn't think about downsizing, because his stuff was small. The, the, the guy, other guy, his, he has small stuff too, um, and just back out a little bit. But I did back out, and I picked up a shaky head, and I tried to fish it, and I was just, I was ready to go. I was ready to throw that crankbait, and I just couldn't put it down, and it cost me. Um, so what you're about to see is I come back down here, went to High Rock, uh, tried to went look for some crappie and found a bunch of small ones, nothing to really, uh, brag about or put on tape really. So the last hour there before dark, uh, I said, you're never too old to learn. <laughs> and, and I got learned up there and it's stuff I already know. I know when that kind of stuff happens to back, to back out and fish that stuff, you know, and. Um, and I tried, I just couldn't get bit on the shaky head. I was using a bigger eight inch and everybody else was using like a little six inch and it didn't click it in that I needed to uh, downsize. And so um, last hour of the day down at High Rock, I picked up, up I, I got a zoom worm. I cut a third of it off and you'll see all this. And I picked up what they call a Ned rig. If you never heard of a Ned rig. Um, never really fished it because I'm a power fisherman. I love to crank. I love to throw that spinner bait. I love to throw that bigger worm. Um, I just, I just like to do that kind of stuff. And anyway, when I picked up a little Ned rig, um, green little green pumpkin trick worm, cut a third of it off, and I'll show you all that. And I catch one little fish pretty quick, like I lost another one. I mean, I caught another one, and but it didn't get it on tape. So, um, you just have to be careful with it, with these neg rigs you kind of just use them on rocks because you're using an exposed hook and the whole concept is it for the flat heads for the worm just to kind of stand straight up you know so and it kind of bounces over the rock you use a rock if you use around much wood you're going to get hung so and you still get hung you just got to be patient with it um but check it out 33rd out of 74 i think so nothing again you know it's just another learning experience like the older i get i should know this stuff but anyway check it out let me know what you think okay folks welcome to pr fishing uh today we're going <clears throat> fishing what they call a ned rig it's just a lid head with a flat side and i took a trick worm a little worm and i just cut cut the top of it off See that? So stick with me. <clears throat> Let's see if we can catch a couple and put them in the boat. So we got one on the old Ned Rig.
the baby. Little bass. Mm. Let him go. And again, I'll show you how to rig all that and where it come from. And But let's try to catch another one. Okay, uh, have you seen me catch that one? I called another and I didn't get it on tape. But anyway, that's my setup there. You've seen it. A little flat head. And um, these the particular heads I'm using are by Z Man, uh, little Ned Rig jig heads. Uh, I bought these at Walmart. I mean, I can't remember exactly how much they was, but that Walmart had them. I think it's a tenth ounce. One tenth, uh, little net heads, and then I took a regular old trick worm, and then I just cut him right about there, right about his little sack. I cut him right there and got rid of this upper half, and then just laced it up on the hook like that. So that's pretty cool. I, of course, I dipped the tail in a little chartreuse, but I caught two pretty quick like on it, on this little rock, uh, little gravel rock I was fishing. So, uh, again, stop by Walmart, pick, pick up some of those things and kind of downsize something the fish hadn't seen. You know, it's just a little different, and uh, I like that. So, uh, put it on a little spinning rod, 8-pound, 10-pound test line, so... Thought you might like that. It's a little different. Okay, there it was. Um, it was just a quick little fish catch there and me talking about the little Ned rig. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it more often, especially when I'm around that gravel. Uh, you know, and, and like I said, it was other guys up there, and it could have been just a pressured fish. Downsize. Finesse. To go do that finesse stuff with all that pressure there, too. Uh, two big tournaments up there, so I should have downsized. Used something like this because we was around a little bunch of rock, and maybe I could have caught a couple more fish and went up a little bit higher. <sighs> Fight with yourself, you know. That's that's the whole thing is decision making out there. Uh, let me comment. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up. Hey, subscribe to me. Subscribe to me, and I'll show you some more little stuff like that. Uh, try it out. I mean, the stuff you can buy it at Walmart. You know, I mean, it's n nothing to it. Um, until next crash.